Welcome back. We promised you a sensation, and he has sat right beside us. Well, I've got two. There's one on either Thank side. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, right now, Mike Wang is joining us. And as I said before the break, he is only 16 years old. He's just a high school student who has an incredible talent. He is a pianist who's been awarded the overall first prizes at various national competitions. He is ticking those boxes. I mean, you have to really appreciate the talent. You are going to hear, Mike, a little later, but we have to focus in. And I can tell you that he is about the intricacies of piano. Let me take a look at this for a second and marvel with you. Please give a very feel-good welcome to our artist for the day, Mr. Mike Wang. Mike Wang! Mike! Mike. Mike. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being as amazing as you are and for blessing us with sound checks. This whole <laughs> by emotions, just I listening to you play, it's been incredible. But thank mm. you so much for being here. Oh, it's an honor to be here. It's my first time here. And yeah, I'm very excited. We, not as excited as we are. We're excited. Yeah, no, we, we are very excited. When people make a thing about your age, 16 <laughs> years old, I'm remembering myself at 16 years old, <laughs> and I did not have this going on in my, my oh. world. You, you are very young, and I say that with all due respect. Does this mean you started when you were two years old? How, how, where does your musical journey begin at such a young age to have achieved so much? Where did this, this first step begin? Well, I started the piano at the age of five and I just kind of played it as a hobby. And after I moved to South Africa when I was eight years old, I just had more time to practice and that's how I like started the journey. Mm -hmm. Time. It's, but he made it sound so simple. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, yeah. You've, you, you've been through hours of sacrifice, I'm sure. I mean, you were mentored by Professor Mario Nell. Yes. And I think that that's an individual that is really synonymous with you put the hours in no matter what. You be excellent, you have to be perfect. What has that been? I'm sure you know that. Uh, but what has that been like, being mentored by that type of person, having the time for you to also find your passion in piano too? Talk me through how to get to this level at 16, especially with Professor at the helm. Well, um, practice, practice, <laughs> and even more practice. Like, no matter how talented a person is, in order to try and perfect their work, the basics are practicing, because practice makes perfect. Yes. Exactly. And for my teacher, um, Professor Dr. Mario Nell, yes. he's just an amazing guidance like in my music journey. And he does play a very important role to my success. Yeah. And, yeah, I would also sit like in front of the piano for three to four hours every day during the weekdays and five to six hours on weekends and holidays. I'm so glad you said that because that's sacrifice. That means that you are so committed to your passion that you want this to, to be successful in your future, right? Is that yes. why you yes. take the time? Yes. It's yeah. beautiful. When you get to feel this coming together, when you get to play with an orchestra and being invited by the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra to be a part of something that is so much bigger than the sum of its parts, everyone there is amazing. Yes. How does that feel, sitting down in that room with that energy and being able to let out whatever is inside you surrounded by that? Because that's kind of what most musicians dream of <laughs> then, the distant True. future, not at 16, mm. but what has this experience been like? Yeah, my experience as a soloist with the K Philharmonic Orchestra was a life changing experience. Really? Yeah. I mean, obviously, at a young age, this is like one of the biggest highlights of my life thus far. And it is by far the concert I've prepared for the most. Really? Yeah. Before I went on stage, I obviously I felt super excited, yet I felt like so nervous inside. 
And I was also playing the notoriously challenging Rachmaninoff second piano concerto. <laughs> so yeah, overcoming this whole challenge just like meant like so much for me. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, just imagine now you take all of that 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 power, uh, Cape Philharmonic, and all of the stages you've been on. And let's amplify that to live on TV yes, nationally please. throughout South Africa. <laughs> Can you imagine what that's going to be like? Well, um... You know what? Let's <laughs> stop imagining. Why don't we make it happen? Let's I do think this we now. should feel it for ourselves, exactly. Mike. You're an absolute gem, my friend. So we're going to send you off yes. to our beautiful piano. You can go and get into the zone. Do whatever geniuses do to get themselves into that zone. I love the fact there is humility on a different level yes, coming with this package here, which is just blowing my mind more than the level of talent. Um, but I think not being the most musical person on the planet, I understand what, it, what a gift it is to have a front row seat for these moments and these kinds of performances. It's happening. Hello, I am Mike Wong. And for I'll be playing two pieces. And the first piece I'll be playing is in Shogun Etude, Opus 10, number four. And my second song will be My Favorite Things by Sound of Music, arrangement by Stephen Howe. <laughs> 